Hey, it's Chris K2CJB with K2CJB Radio. Welcome back to the channel. And this video is the third and final installment of the relocating the ham shack to the new QTH. So everything is all wired up, everything's in place. And I'm just gonna walk you through some of the, um, the, the, the signal flow through the shack um, and some of the wiring things we did uh, for power too. I wanna show you some little gadgets we used for power distribution also. So stay tuned. Here's a panoramic view of the shack as we have it set up today, of course. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna go through from left to right and walk you through how we got everything put together here. The left end of the desk, I have the Radio Shack 10 meter rig. Remember those, right? And below it is a Radio Shack sideband 11 meter radio. And on top of it, a little SWR um, meter just to make sure the antenna is working right. At this point, there is no antenna connected to these. Um, what I'll use this radio for is a 10 meter beacon, just to listen to see when conditions are open. And every once in a while I like to noodle around with 11 meters. It's interesting what you hear on sideband on um, 11 meters. These are selected through this switch here. One position is for the 10 meter radio, any other is for the, for the uh, CB. So when we get an antenna up for those, that'll be connected to this. You'll see I've already got myself wired out to the antenna panel, the DMARC panel in the window and we'll uh, show you how that connection happens. To the right of that is a classic radio, Yezu Tempo 1. We get the, like the old D104 out of the way. Uh, this radio works fine. This was an eBay find that I got some time ago. Works great. And um, to the right is an old Heathkit HM102 SWR and watt meter. So the output of this, of course, is connected to that and through that out to the antenna. But before we go to the antenna, on the side of the desk here, I've got this antenna switch. This selects between the Tempo 1 and the Yezu FTDX3000, which we'll get to in a second. So both radios connect to this, and then the output of this goes to another antenna switch, which selects whatever HF antenna I want to operate with. Down below, I've had this, you've seen this before if you saw my shack tour. This is a homebrew little project, uh, AC uh, voltmeter, and above it, um, Got a pair of DC digital voltmeters that monitor two power supplies uh, that are running the, the DC rigs in the shack. Right above that, the Kenwood TMV71. I have all the local repeaters programmed into it, including um, Newington W1AW. Below that, we have a VHF UHF uh, MFJ meter. I got this at a ham fest years ago, and it's the output of this rig goes through that. So I can keep an eye on uh, SWR for, and how the antenna is performing for that radio. This meter here is used exclusively for the six meter Squalo antenna, which is not up at this point yet. It's here, but I just haven't gotten up on the roof. And of course today with a foot of snow, I'm not doing anything. <laughs> of course, here's the main rig. This is the FTDX 3000. And right now it is connected to the, the HF antenna through all the switching that's going on here. Up to the left here is the West Mountain Radio audio processor. Um, I've had some really good luck with that. It, it's, a, it's a nice device. Uh, a couple of monitors running Ham Radio Deluxe. You should all recognize that probably. Mouse keyboard. Back in the back is the rotor control. The TA33 Junior is not up yet. That's gonna happen in the spring. So that's not connected to anything at this point. Above that, in the back corner here, is a Radio Shack scanner that at this point is listening to local uh, weather radio. This is HT land over here with some spare batteries, but over here, this is what's new to me. This is a, an Alpha Delta four position antenna switch. I've got three of the positions right now wired with RG8. I had RG8 jumpers and they're wired up to the antenna panel, the, the DMARC panel that I had made. So the first three positions on here correspond to the first three positions here. Right now, the only thing connected is the off-center fed dipole that you saw me string up in the last video. This connection here, this antenna, goes to the VHF UHF vertical. This is the wiring, the cable, that goes over to the 10 meter and 11 meter radio on the other side of the desk. And this is the wiring for the, I have a little mag mount outside on a little L bracket that's uh, mounted on the house. This is the weather radio, the scanner um, antenna feed. Over here, you'll see two ground connections. I'm gonna redo this. This is 
12 gauge stranded. I'm really not happy with that. I want to go a little heavier than that. One of those ground wires goes directly to the FTDX 3000 and the other goes over directly to the back of the Tempo 1. On the outside, the connection is made to the ground rod you saw me drive in in the last video. Now we're crawling around under the desk. I have a USB hub here. Some of these cables are the ones that go into HTs to program them. You can see the little connector sitting there as it's coiled up here on, a, on this little shelf. Um, I don't have the FTDX3000 going through this. It goes through a port directly uh, connected to the computer rather than going through this hub. I found that the Ham Radio Deluxe wasn't really happy when, or the radio, one or the other, wasn't happy when I ran it through this hub. So they go, the radios are connected directly to the computer. Here's the DC power below the desk. Astron power supply, RS35M, that operates the FTDX3000 and also operates the Kenwood VHF UHF. Yeah, they both draw a lot of current, but I'm not transmitting on both of them at the same time. So they can both kind of co-mingle and coexist <laughs> on that power supply. The top one is a little switching supply I got from some, some place, and it's, uh, it's a nice little auxiliary 12 volt supply that I use for the auxiliary devices in the shack. Behind the power supplies for DC distribution, I'm using this. Quicksilver Radio makes these. I don't know if anybody else makes these. It's like a little Anderson power block. They're all molted together. So I take one feed off of the power supply right here and run it into this block. And then I just connect the radios to it. Did the same, that's an eight port and here's a four port here. Um, they work great, very reliable. And I have um, one port on each of these goes to that little DC power meter you saw up top. So that's how everything's wired up. Let's sit down at the radio and see if we can make a few contacts. Two one six for whiskey two partridge. Kilowatt two, Charlie Juliet Bravo. Lima Delta Victoria. Charlie Juliet Bravo, you're five nine in New York. Roger, Roger. You're also five nine, actually ten over up here in uh, we're in Connecticut, just north of Avon, QSL. Okay, thank you very much for that, and you have a great holiday season. Seventy three. You too. Seventy three. Have fun. Victoria. Okay, anyone else on frequency? Alpha Echo 7 Kilo India. Kilowatt 2, Charlie Juliet Bravo. Charlie Juliet Bravo, K2. Yeah, good copy, good copy. You're, you're nice and loud. Anyway, um, have we worked before? Is the question? No, we have not. Anyway, you're 5 and 9 plus by the sounds of it. The name is Jerry. Golf Echo Radio, Radio Yankee, Jerry. And we're located in Monroe, Tennessee, just northeast of Nashville. K2CJB, this is Jerry, AE7KI. Kilowatt 2, Charlie Juliet Bravo. Kilowatt 2, Charlie Juliet Bravo. So there you have it. We're back on the air. We've got the, uh, the one uh, HF antenna up, the off-center fed. Works fine, as you saw. Uh, we've got the VHF UHF vertical up. Uh, the Squalo is here. <laughs> it's outside. I just have to get some time to get up on a roof and, and install it. Um, we're all wired inside for it. We just have to connect it up outside. And the TA33 Junior is under the porch and um, in parts. And we will assemble that in the spring and put that up on the roof. It's good to be back on the air. It's good to have antennas up and it's good to have the shack uh, all put back together again. So, hey, if this series helped you in any way, let me know, put some comments down below. Let me know the things I may have forgotten, <laughs> which I'm sure there's a whole bunch of things I probably forgot to do. Um, if you liked what you saw, make sure you hit like. Then of course, if you are enjoying what you're seeing on the channel, make sure you hit subscribe and that way you'll be notified anytime I do anything else, um, which I've got quite a few things uh, planned there's some other uh, sort of projects I'm doing around the shack that I want to just start putting some videos up for. So until next time, again, thanks for everybody for watching. 73 from K2CJB.